Major Slack Attack. Hey, welcome back to Major Slack Attack, your first stop for titillating tactical Elden Ring gameplay. And uh, for those of you who are new to the walkthrough, let me just show you what's going on here. We're at level 66. These are my attribute points, and we are most likely to be using the Bloodhounds Fang plus 9 and the Longbow plus 17. Those are our two main weapons, and I also have Aragio's Rapier, but I only have this for the Golden Val buff. And we have a Tower Shield up to plus 10, and we're using Devon Human Queen Staff to give ourselves the scholar armament buff every once in a while that's it now uh we got a winner for the last round of elden ring class jeopardy i asked uh well the question the answer rather was this class has the most default most total default attribute points and the correct answer is what is the confessor and Blank Dragon got was the first one with the correct answer. What is the Confessor? That is correct. And the Confessor has a total of 89 attribute points. Okay, it's the one with the highest number of attribute points. The one with the lowest number of attribute points, by example, is the Wretch, which only has 10 attribute points for every attribute. There's only 8 attributes, so that's 80 attribute points. The Confessor is the highest with 89 attribute points. All right, that's that. Now, um... We are going to the sealed tunnel. Why is that? Because we want to get unlimited smithing stones 3 and 4. We now have unlimited smithing stones 1 and 2. We can easily get 3 and 4. And we're also going to go through the sealed tunnel. Even though the uh, bell bearing is right near the beginning. Yeah, we can buy unlimited 1 and 2 before we upgrade um, this right here this is next this is next thing to get a spit shine I want to get this up to plus 10 that would be really great alright let's go there now the sealed tunnel can be found in the Altus Plateau all the way up here and all the way over to the Outer Wall Phantom Tree. The Outer Wall Phantom Tree. Everybody go there now. Uh oh, it suddenly got really sunny in my office. Hang on a second, I just gotta shut the curtains. Hang on a second, I'll be right back. Don't go away. You're right here. Yeah, right now. Okay. And I'm back. Anybody ever heard that song, God Damn the Sun? Remember that song? Anybody? God Damn the Sun. I wonder if it's on YouTube somewhere. Who does that? You're just making that up, Slack. No, I'm not. I'm not I'm not kidding. I'm pretty sure there's a song, some alternative rock song called God Damn the Sun. Something like that. I'm sure it's on YouTube somewhere. Anyways, everybody wait till noon. <laughs> and uh, replace your Bloodhound's Fang with your Uchi Katana with the Gravitas skill on it, just for now, alright? Okay, you got that ready to go. And you got the shield up. Test your Gravitas skill, that's ready to go. Okay, you can be using that. Bring up your map, and the sealed tunnel is right here. But first, we gotta get down there. We gotta use this bridge here. So put a beacon there, and in case you're in combat, by the time we get down there, put another beacon there so we can find the, find the sealed tunnel. All right, let's go there. How many... Okay, this isn't like a contest or anything, but like, please post a comment. How many have absolutely, like, completely given up hope of acquiring a PS5? I have. I mean, there's, there's no hope. It's, it's just this the scalpers have taken over the scene every time they release some stock the scalpers buy them all up and then they re resell them on Amazon for like a bazillion dollars I, I've given up hope I, I don't think I'm ever gonna get one the pandemic screwed us out of a ps5 okay so there, there is the invisible teardrop scarab 
Um, I forgot to mention this. Yeah, we want to go after this. It makes its route here. Come right to this opening right here. I'll show you on the map where I am. I can't open the map. Okay, but the sealed tunnel is over that way. You'll find it. It's like this little opening here. And we're going to wait for it to come back and use the gravity skill to wipe it out as it passes by. And we'll get the Ash of War prayer. Prayer. Here it comes. Get ready. Here we go. Ready and ready about now. Just before it comes. But I missed it. Dang it. I'm going to have to chase it around. Okay, it's going to come back. Stay at the same spot. You gotta hit it just before it arrives. Here it comes. Got it. There we go. Prayer for, prayer full strike. Bugger off. <laughs> okay. And let's go to the sealed tunnel. Yeah, post a comment. Have you been trying to get a PS5? I'm on the list too, that special list where like, uh, you know, Sony puts you like... They draw one name a month or something like that. And if your name gets drawn, you get access to a PS5. You get to buy a PS5. I was, I was like looking around today. And I got all excited. I found this one gaming website. There's, there's PS5. It's available on Amazon UK. So I go to Amazon UK, right? And lo and behold, there's some PS5s available there. 647 British pounds. So I'm looking at that going, you know, oh, that doesn't seem too bad. Because, like, I've never bothered to convert British pounds to, like, you know, Canadian dollars. So when I finally, finally did the math, it came out to, like, a thousand Canadian dollars. And after delivery, it's going to be 1200. It's the same shit. And the guy that was selling it, you know, he had one, one review. He is obviously a scalper. You know, hadn't been in business long. One review, in one five star review. So he's obviously a scalper. So I, I don't know. Anyways, rant over. Um, here we are in the sealed tunnel. Get your bloodhound's fang back on. And this place has some invisible walls. Did you know you could use Margaret's shackle to reveal invisible walls? For example, this is an invisible wall right there. Go right up near it, throw down Market Shackle. There you go. Ah, yeah. That's what you reveal invisible walls. And am I heavy walking? No, okay. Okay, so here we are. Um, we're just gonna go and get the bell bearing first, and then we're gonna level up the Morning Star, and then we're gonna come back and do a complete run of the seal tunnel. This guy's gonna get up as soon as you get near him. So just hit him with a Bloodhound's finesse. Come back with a strong attack follow up, and that'll do him in. Get the bow up. And. Yes, I know. I could just roll through that debris, but I don't want to. I like shooting it down. It's a lot quieter. Okay. So, having done that. Look off to the left here, and there is a vulgar militia man. Mighty shot to the head should instantly kill him. Man, these things are ugly up close, eh? Down he goes, right? Having done that, circle around to the right here, and here is your smithing stone miner's bell bearing 2. Ta da! So that's it. We're going to go back, take this back to the round table. And level up our Morning Star, which will be a much better weapon to use on the miners. And then we're going to come back and um, plow through this location and do the boss at the end. Okay, so out we go. You know, it's going to air its beacon here. Get out, get out my map beacon. And... Stop that, Mr. Fumblefingers. Okay. There we go. Hey, okay, so. Let's go get this bell bearing to the Twin Maiden Nests. Offer bell bearing. Oh, yeah, we have to give her Thops bell bearing for what it's worth. There's nothing really I want to buy from this inventory. 
but do that anyways. Offer another one. Here we go. Offer smithing, sm smithing miner's spell bearing two. And now we can buy smithing stones three and four. Unlimited. As many as we want. As long as we got the mula. Alright, so. I want to level up the morning star. Let's just get out of here and do the math. It is that plus four. We have your minos may vary. I have two smithing stones too. That means I need ten more smithing stone two to get it up to plus six. Likewise, I have two smithing stones three. So I need ten more smithing stone three to get it up to. plus 9. And then if I buy one smithing stone 4, I can get it up to plus 10. I could buy more, but we're going to go to another location where we're going to get a whole bunch of free smithing stones for us, so I think we should do that first before we start buying, um, actually buying smithing stones for For now, um, all the free smithing stones 2 and 3 are pretty much, we pretty much milked them all out, so it's time to start buying them. Alright, so that's the plan. Let's do it. Ten twos. Ten threes. Hey, how about this? A business video in Eldering. <laughs> and one four. Here he goes. We had twelve twos, twelve threes, and two fours. This is going to leave me a little short of cash when it comes to actually paying for the upgrades. And I believe from practice, or if I recall correctly, it's going to leave me about 3,000 short. So let's go to the ATM and make a little withdrawal. I'm curious if I can one-shot these boogers with the longbow. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Don't kill me. Back off. There you go. Alright, back on goes Old Faithful, the Bloodhound's Fang. Two hand the sucker, kill two more of these guys, and we're good to go. I'm gonna kill one more just to make sure. Alright, back to the round table. How about Xbox Series S? Does anybody own an Xbox Series S? Been thinking about buying one of those. I don't know the first thing about Xbox. I've done it, like, looked over a few reviews, but I don't really know what to make of them. Because I've never, I'm, like, I've been PlayStation all my life. PlayStation and PC gaming. Um, wow. No experience with Xbox. You been I took you for no matter, it's Supposed to comment. Alright, here we go. We're looking for the Morning Star. Let's take it as high as it can go. Up to 10, and there we go. We ran out of smithing stones for. Like I said, we could buy some more, but we're going to go to a location where we're going to get a whole bunch of free. So let's do that first before we start spending the exorbitant price of 900 runes per smithing stone. Done and done. So this is our new main weapon. Let's replace the Bloodhound's Fang with this. And as far as equipment, I figure um, let's 
put on the crimson hood. Actually, what did I figure out that that the Burger King head actually is the best? This will give us yeah physical twenty. So twin sage glintstone crown exile armor sorcerer manchets manchets manchets. Uh, I'm gonna go with manchets and aristocrat boots. That'll work. Back to the sealed tunnel. Oh, 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 oh. Everybody. Make a batch of lightning pots. This is something I did off camera. I farmed up a whole bunch of Fulgur Bloom. Let me just uh, quickly remind everybody how to do this. Am I going in? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no way, I'm going out. Here we go. Alright. <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> Losing my voice today. <clears throat> Back here in the Lyurnia, the Lakes districts here, I've even got a marker here. Okay? Sorcerer's Isle. Right? And on the east side of Sorcerer's Isle, let's just do one run now. There's a whole bunch of Fulgur Bloom, and we already have the recipe for lightning pots. So all you're missing is Fulgur Bloom. It's a whole bunch there. Like tons of it. This is right around to the marker. So put a beacon right there. There we go, let me beacon. Right to the beacon. Basically on the east side of Scenic Isle. Okay, then it's gonna be thunderbolts and lightning, but here it is. Don't worry, it's just zap you a little bit. There's all the Fulgur Bloom. There's lots of it here. Just run around and grab it all, okay? So I've already got like a ton of it. Let me just get out of here. Huh. Alright, collect enough to say at least. Ten. Go for twenty. I don't want to be cheap on that stuff. So we can make a whole bunch of lightning pots, alright? Alright, and what's my pot situation like? <laughs> Oh, do you live in California, Slack? No, I live in Canada. Pot's legal here, too. Um, <laughs> Let me just store this. Oh, it's equipped. Great. Hang on. Oh, actually, we're going to need a couple. Um, let me store the sleep pots. There we go, that'll free up a couple cracked pots. Yeah, you're gonna need a couple fire pots. Alright, so. Two fire pots and make a whole big batch of lightning pots. I'm gonna make all eight. Alright, with that and with your plus 10 morning star, let's get busy. Oh, wait, one more thing. <laughs> this is not absolutely essential, but it'll help. Let's put the Determination spell on, or rather the Ash of War, on the Morning Star. You could put um, Royal Knight's Resolve. I'm not sure if everybody got this, because some of you did not do that tour in Volcano Manor after killing Godskin Noble. So you may not have gotten this 
plus this costs 15 FP, whereas this only costs 10 FP, and it pretty much accomplishes the same thing. This will give you 60% extra damage on your next hit, lasts for 10 seconds, and this will give you 80% extra damage on your next next hit, with, as long as you do that hit within 10 seconds. This costs more FP. Let's go for this one, and go for quality. All right, there we go, so determination, and it's a done deal. Okay, so two hand that sucker, get your sneak on, use the termination, target this guy, and a strong, rather, charge attack should do him in instantly. This guy you can do in it with a couple of fire pots. Or you could, like. Before he starts, like, cooking up his little flamethrower there, just do him in. Okay, so let's work on this guy. Typically, you can run right up to them, and your windup, even for a charged attack, will always be their windup. And this location has a lot of smithing stones. Five. These guys, as long as you sneak up to them, it just it just takes a regular charge attack. You don't have to use the determination. Okay, getting lots more cracked crystal here. Okay, let's sneak up on this vulgar militia man. Vulgar militia man. This will take a little extra sauce. Charge attack. And that'll do him in. Okay, so there's the chest where we got the bell bearing. Just go past that. This should already be open. If it's not open, um, this will be an invisible wall. Just use your um, Margus Shackle, and that will open it up. And there's an, a secret on the elevator on the way down. As usual, the secret is in the left corner. So we're going to trigger this. Then go to the left corner and get ready to jump. Ready, jump. And it should be a smithing stone in five. And watch it now! Jeez. Damn, damn, you shot my pants. Okay, we're gonna make our way down to that ledge there so we get safely down without the elevator. Uh, yep. This one you have to jump. You can't just drop down, you have to make a little running and jump. Okay, and this one you can just drop straight down. And likewise, this one you can drop straight down. Very, very good. Alright, next. If any passage is blocked, just use Margus Shackle. I've seen in some videos where like paths that are open for me are like, you know, there's invisible walls blocking the way. I don't know why I'm not seeing these invisible walls. Alright, so there's a whole bunch of vulgar militiamen hanging around here. We're gonna sneaky buggers. Um, let's see if we can pick them off. There's one right there. So you mean aim for his head, do a mighty shot, that should instantly kill him. And there's another one down here. This is the kill. Got to look through these guys carefully. There's a couple more. There's one right there. Unfortunately, you can't see his head. So let's try a mighty shot in the back. See if we can kill him, anyways. Got him, right. There's still two more. There he is right there. He blends in perfectly with the background. Um let's maybe if we can cook him up. Yeah. 
Yeah. Where are you, little bugger? Here we go. What the hell? Oh, there he is. Oh, that's where the other perfectly camouflaged. You could barely see him, but still, we can get a headshot. Great. Okay, that just leaves the one there that's almost dead. Alright, so Morningstar and the shields pop down, see what he does. I hear something, I hear activity. Come on, uh, come on, you know you wanna. Let's just get this over with. What are you down there? Okay, we're gonna go looting. We'll come back and take care of you later. Oh, here we go. Actually, I think this is another one. There he is. <laughs> These guys. <laughs> here we go. Okay, bring it. Oh, shit, he got me. God, die. I hate when they do that. Told you, no tongue in the first date, dude. You can't climb right up on my back. And gave me a hickey. <laughs> okay, this should be okay. Here you got yourself a storm sword key, and I don't think there's anything further to discover here, no. Okay, I think that's it for the vulgar militia, man. Don't go down there. Whatever you do, do not go down there. We gotta deal with this guy first. And we have to get him to break this statue right here. This contains three smithing stones, six. But we gotta get him to break the statue. And I see a lot of guys actually going down there and trying to sucker him into breaking the statue. You don't have to do that. You can just use the bow and harass him a little bit. And just stay up here. And you just go over above it. Get yourself a gold pickle, file foot on the way. All you have to do is just come over this, to this area and keep harassing him, and eventually you get mad and he'll rush over. He'll think that he can get you, even though he's down below. There we go. Come on over, you big idiot. Okay, and you run over here. And, or we could, um, start harassing with some fire pods, or lightning pods, rather. As long as you don't kill them. Here, that'll light up your... Come on, get activated. Over here. in practice friends works beautifully okay now he's mad hey he killed one of the uh, one of his boys there okay now he's mad Come on now. There he did it. He broke the statue. He doesn't even have to be rushing or like, you know, like in a rage. Did he break it? I don't think so. Hang on. No.
Come on now. Come on, you know you want to. thing about this is uh, this ladder here is really difficult to climb so if you want to get down there and try to sucker him into it and then if you manage to roll through him as he makes his attack if you're trying to climb the ladder well what you would do is roll off to his right side like that and then get to this side of the ladder and climb up climb Here, that did it. Yike. There, it's broken. See, the head's broken off. So there, that's how you do it. But it is possible to sucker him over there without having to go down. That's why it was doing in practice runs, but Go figure. As soon as I press record, everything goes sideways. Alright, so let's finish him off. Now light up and be happy, you big bugger. Freaking hate these things. There, see? There, that's. I. <laughs> you're all saying, sure, Slack. No, he just did it, see? It worked. You can get him pissed off from up here, and he'll rush that statue for some reason. So you know, I'm not, I'm not imagining things. It does work. <laughs> All right, that's enough out of you. Bye bye. All right, and I think this is a safe drop down. Let me just make sure. Rainbow stone down. It survives. It's a safe drop down. Get yourself a rune arc. And three smithing stones, six. It's a reward for doing that. Okay, one of those two methods should work for you. If they don't, well, sorry, there's no refunds. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's got a million of them. Hey. He's here all week, folks. Don't forget to tape your waitress. Ba -dum -tss. Okay, we did that. Um, so from this point here, having taken him down, um, the way to continue is to the east. Okay, you come up from the after like going down to the bottom floor and digging around with that guy. Use the ladder to come back up, then follow this trunk along and jump on here to the east. In this area here it's blocked off, but you can jump down here on the side, but when you do get ready because there's gonna be like these exploding worm things. There's one right there. I always wonder if there's something you can do about that right away. I think there is. I mean, I think we could reach it with a fire pot or something. Maybe a, a lightning pot. Let's throw one down there. And again. Ah, they don't want to be. Target him. Nothing excites him. We're just gonna have to jump down there and and run for it. There we go. 
Okay, there's one right there. Okay, now they're down here. We can use the longbow to just set them off. <laughs> and you should be pretty safe as long as you're far enough away. Okay, you gotta watch out for these things. There's a whole bunch up there. There's one right there. We just kind of like run by it. Run back. There's another one up there. Yeah, you just set up a whole bunch up there. And you can just run by them, or my preferred method is just use a few arrows. I don't like spending. I don't mind spending arrows. No really cause. Or you can just run by them. Get that guy, that guy there, and we're good to go. this bad. That should be it. Except for the boss. And those guys there. That right there is lightning grease. In case you don't want to make the jump. It's not the most difficult jump, but it is dangerous. Alley -oop -oop. Yeah. There you go, lightning grease. Okay, and that should be a safe drop down below to there. Likewise, down to here. Except for that. <laughs> Alright, this is the boss fight. That's the trigger line right there. Once you go across that line, it's game on. So let's get ready. Gonna use primarily the Bloodhound's Fang. Check. And we're gonna buff it with Golden Vow. Let's put on our Navy Hood. And for some reason, I've already had the Cerulean Amber Medallion on, so now our FP is 112. That's great. Okay, so let's buff everything everything up first. Basically, it's this guy that he's got this weapon that acts like a reverse gravity. He slams it into the ground and it blasts you away rather than pull you towards him. But with the pumpkin head, should be no problem. He's gonna like um, grab his attention and just stay far away from him until he's well engaged with the pumpkin head, and then just do a couple or three shots with the bloodhound's finesse follow up strong strong attack combo and that should finish him off so let's buffer everything up and then go for it golden bow switch over to the bloodhounds fang and what's going on i don't have enough dang it jeez um didn't mean to do that 
dollars armament to hand. Here we go. Pumpkin hit. Watch him carefully. Comes for you. Run away. And he's engaged with pumpkin head. Let's go for it. Go get him, pumpkin head. It's all you. You got this. Gives up Onyx Lord's great sword, and you gotta stay away from Pumpkinhead because he's like a little pissed off that you use him as cannon fodder. So like now he's like he won't care, eh? he'll kill you. <laughs> you could just like go to his like icon, and oh now he's back to like he's calm. You calm? Take a Valium there, dude. There we go. Had a boy. Okay, very good. Done and done. Don't use this yet. First, just as a matter of convenience, go outside and go activate this um, set of grays here. We may be coming back here later. So it's just an easy way to get back to this location. There you go. And the Onyx Greatsword, this is our reward. Requires 16 intelligence. We can do that. Man, it's just like the Gravitas attack except in reverse. Instead of drawing things towards you, it pushes things away. And this door we can't open until we beat... Um, Rikard, if I recall correctly, either Rikard or the Omen Killer. I think it's Rikard. Anyways, that's it. Let's regroup at the round table. There you go. Nice long video for you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. And um, please give me a thumbs up because these Elden Ring videos are very, very labor intensive, much more so than other games when it comes to producing real walkers. Okay, they take a lot of practice and study, and because of the way the game's constructed, um, I keep having to reload backed up saves and purposely dying in boss fights just so I can do the boss fight again. Because you know that's when you're practicing for a boss fight, um, killing him too quickly is just as bad as getting killed over and over again because you can't figure out how to do it. You know, if you do it one time and you kill them, and then you don't really know how you did it. How do you explain to others how to kill them, right? So please, these are very labor intensive. Appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe. Post a comment to help support the channel. I'll see you next time for some more Elden Ring. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.